My name is Dr. Eugene Shostak. I'm an assistant professor of medicine in cardiothoracic surgery. I'm a director of interventional pulmonology in the Department of Cardiothoracic Surgery, New York Presbyterian Hospital, Wild Cornell Medical Center. My name is Jonathan Valena Vargas. I'm a thoracic surgeon at New York Presbyterian Wild Cornell Medicine. Here at New York Presbyterian Wild Cornell Medicine, we are proud to be early adopters of a novel collaborative approach between interventional pulmonology and thoracic surgery which involves performing a robotic-assisted bronchoscopy followed by robotic-assisted minimally invasive thoracic surgery if a cancer diagnosis is confirmed, all in a single anesthetic event. The lung nodule is any growth in the lung. It usually characterizes less than three centimeters. At that point, it becomes a mass. It's characterized usually by imaging, such as a CT scan and that's how we work it up. The benefit of the combined procedure is a couple of things. The pulmonologist is able to do an intraoperative diagnosis. It guides us with regards to how much resection we need to do or what type of resection, whether we need to do a resection at all if it's benign. In addition, they also are able to mark the lesion for us. We use this special dye that we're able to utilize the robotic camera with, and that allows us to really spare the amount of lung that we need to remove. The catheter, which measures only three and a half millimeters across, is controlled remotely using a joystick. The catheter can access any area of the lung with a high degree of precision and safety. In fact, the risks of lung biopsy using robotic bronchoscopy are lower than other available techniques. This technology has the potential to diagnose lung cancer earlier, thereby offering patients a better chance of cure. Robotic lung surgery is the ability to perform our normal lung surgery, but with the use of a robot. It enhances kind of the movement that we can perform in the patient for the surgical procedure, in addition to a slight enhancement in imaging. Patients should be optimistic about the outcome of this combined procedure because it streamlines the way that we diagnose and treat a patient. The usual kind of sequelae is that a patient will get diagnosed, it takes about a couple of weeks, sometimes it's positive, sometimes it's indeterminate, and they have to repeat a diagnosis that further prolongs the, the treatment option for this patient. So by combining everything at once, we are able to diagnose and treat the patient within the same setting, decreasing the level of stress, the logistical aspect of it, of coming back and forth from the hospital. Recovery is usually pretty good when we combine it with the lung resection. Most patients will go home the next day and are able to return to work within a week. It really kind of streamlines the ability to move on with your life and knowing the diagnosis as well as getting the treatment.